understanding big data in the transport sector. Today, big data is more than just a buzzword. Thanks to the increasing availability of data and improvements in computer technologies, numerous data-driven applications are being introduced across different domains, be it healthcare, social sciences, energy, manufacturing, or finance. As transportation becomes more digital and interconnected, the transport sector in Europe and beyond is not averse to this phenomena. Transport is tapping into the benefits of big data. This video looks into some of the opportunities as well as challenges of applying big data technologies to transport and introduces the European Union funded Horizon 2020 project leveraging big data to manage transport operations. But before we dive into big data in transport, let's look at what we mean by transportation and big data technologies that could be relevant to it. Movement of people and goods has always been crucial for the progress of human civilization. From what may have started with the invention of the wheel itself has now developed into a complex industry that includes several, often interconnected modes, sectors and technologies. Transportation is often understood to mean only the movement of people. We forget that the movement of goods, usually referred to as logistics, also falls under this bracket of transportation. Thus, simplistically put, transportation means the movement of people as well as commodities using either rail, air, road, urban, water or a mix of these modes of transport. Big data can be understood using the different V's, which reflect properties such as volume, variety, velocity and veracity. Before data can be referred to as big, it should not only be voluminous but also incorporate data from different sources, having a high rate of arrival. Big data also leaves some potential for missing or erroneous data due to environmental conditions, unreliable data sources, equipment failures or malicious intent. In transport sector, data can come from different sources it can be either route-based, generated by sensors along a particular route such as a highway or rail, vehicle-based, generated by sensors in the vehicle and global positioning systems, traveler-based, collected from travelers through mobile devices, or wide area data, collected by sensor networks monitoring traffic flows as well as by drones and space-based satellites. Having looked into what we mean by transportation and big data, let's consider some of the opportunities and challenges of using big data in transportation. The European Union has funded several different projects under its Horizon 2020 program to put transport data to good use. Many projects are underway to develop applications and systems that use big data to optimize traffic flows to reduce congestion, maintain infrastructure, increase safety and security, and reduce carbon emissions for a healthier environment. But the road for using big data to improve transportation is not free from challenges. Issues relating to access, ownership and use of big data, privacy, lack of skilled experts, data complexity and bias, as well as coordination with different stakeholders need to be comprehensively understood and addressed. The project Leveraging Big Data to Manage Transport Operations or LEMO is looking into both the opportunities and challenges of big data for transportation in Europe. It intends to produce recommendations as well as research and policy roadmaps that will help effective implementation of big data in transport. It has already studied the big data related policies in Europe and assessed the economic, political, legal, ethical as well as social issues on the topic. Seven case studies on organizations actively using big data technologies in the transport sector have also been conducted. If you are interested to know more about what LEMO is doing, you can follow the links provided in the credits. Here you can find also the deliverables produced by the project. You can also follow LEMO on Twitter at the following link.